Today on Health Trust TV, our main guest Fred Ferrer gives an introduction to our new TV series and talks about the new Health Trust initiatives to keep Silicon Valley healthy. Next, Elena will demonstrate an easy way to prepare snacks for busy days. And after that, Chef Merman from Catered 2 teaches us a healthy and fast recipe for hectic days. Dr. Jane Varner brings us a great message about healthy routines, and our fitness expert, Ryan Hughes, shows us a basic but effective exercise to keep our bodies in shape. All this and more on Health Trust TV. Hello everyone and welcome to Health Trust TV. I'm Adam Morello along with Paloma Cano. And we'll be your hosts this season and together we'll be bringing Silicon Valley the latest in health. That's right, Adam. From healthy cooking segments to doctor messages and the latest in physical fitness, Health Trust TV is your home for learning how to improve and maintain your health. We'll also have the pleasure of having a guest on every show to talk about what's being done here in Silicon Valley to improve your overall health of our community. And with this being our first show, we thought whom better to invite than the man who made this show possible, CEO of the Health Trust, Fred Ferrer. Welcome, Fred. Well, thanks. Thanks, Adam. Thanks, that, thanks Paloma. So, Fred, why don't we first start off with telling us a little bit about what we can expect in each episode. Well, Adam and Paloma, we're really excited about the show because we've got really designed the show in 12 episodes. Um, each segment will have a theme, something from staying healthy on a budget, um, how do you stay healthy if you're growing older as a senior, what if you have new babies and young kids. Um, so every show will have a different theme and our guests will be uh, part of that theme and talking about that. You know, here in Silicon Valley, a lot of our nonprofits are doing awesome work in bringing health to us. But sometimes they're the greatest secret. So we want to highlight all different kinds of nonprofits, and those are going to be your guests on each show, really talking about what services are offered in the community and what great events are happening in the community. Every show is going to have a cooking demonstration. You know, we all want a new recipe. We all want to learn how to cook healthier. And so the cooking demos, we're going to be um, having a chef come in from one of our Dining Out for Life restaurants. Dining Out for Life is really supports our HIV work at the Health Trust. And so we're going to have those chefs coming out, giving us their favorite recipe, being able to show exactly how to make those things to give you guys some good ideas of what's another healthy recipe to add. That's wonderful. Part of what we're going to be doing is also really understanding, hey, what's the latest? What's the latest in, in science and health that really um, helps us to understand certain things that sometimes are complex and confusing? So we have somebody called uh, from the Silicon Valley Health Corps coming out. Elena's going to be doing demonstrations. She's going to be doing hands-on demonstrations to really explain what's some of the latest science, but really making it simple so that we can understand how do we make better choices when it comes to our health. We also are really fortunate to have Dr. Varner coming out from the Palo Alto Medical Foundation. Dr. Varner is going to be giving us kind of the latest health tip from the doctor's perspective. Oftentimes when she sees patients over and over again, they have the same question. So what are those frequently asked questions that everybody wants to know more about? Things that you may not really know how to ask your doctor. So Dr. Varner is going to kind of make going to your doctor a lot easier. Following that, we also think about, you know, we got to become more physically active. Mm -hmm. And if you can't afford a personal trainer, Health Trust TV is going to bring you your own personal trainer. Right. So we're going to have Ryan Hughes is coming out from New York. Ryan's been on Good Morning America. He's been on 2020. Um, and he's going to be doing a segment on each show that matches that theme. So if you're a mom who's just had a, a new baby or you have young toddlers at home, you can't get to the gym. So Ryan's going to have ideas about how would you stay in shape and what kinds of workouts can you have either at home, in the gym. Um, and so he's going to be doing great fitness tips and segments on every show. Um, we also are going to have health tips. We have members of our community that are going to come out and just read to us what's the latest from um, the health experts in the country, and they're just going to give us a quick, a, a quick update and give us that health tip, something to make us think about and just remember, hey, how do we stay healthy on a day-to-day -day mm -hmm. basis? And then finally, we're going to have the last segment It's always going to close our show by saying, you know what, what are fun and healthy things to do in the community? Mm -hmm. And so we have just a quick, fun way to be able to announce those things. So every episode you'll be able to say, hey, that'd be fun to go, you know, do yoga in a garden or go to this reading or go to that activity. And so all of the shows are going to be on this theme, but they're all going to have these different segments. And I think if you put it together, um, it's going to be a fun thing to watch. Mm -hmm. Now beyond that, you may want to rewatch that cooking segment or you want to see what Ryan's fitness uh, activity was for that week. So you're going to be able to go to the website www.healthtrust.org and be able to say, hey, I just want to see that cooking segment again. And all the episode segments will be on the website so you can really go back and really look at that, ne that next tip 
make sure that you get it down. That's wonderful. So tell us a little bit about what the Health Trust does in Silicon Valley. Well, the Health Trust does lots of things, but the real key thing that we're doing around our food and accessing food is, we all know that we should eat better, but how do you get access to that food? Um, and so the Health Trust has been working for the last few years on really improving our, our gardens. We've been growing gardens, community gardens, backyard gardens, apartments, school gardens. We really believe that if we could get more access to fresh fruit and vegetable, that's going to be really improving our health. The next piece that we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at fresh carts, which are mobile vending carts coming into the community to sell produce, to sell fresh produce. We also are ad adding more small farmers markets so that neighborhoods can really get access to those, those farmers markets that really give you fresh and organics and real local kinds of foods. And then finally, we're going to be working on our corner stores. We know that folks in neighborhoods go to corner stores much more often than they sometimes go to big grocery stores. But if you don't have healthy choices there, it's really hard to buy healthy. And so we're going to be re working with corner store owners to remake those corner stores and really make sure that they can offer healthy, uh, available food in all our neighborhoods. That's great. Wow, that's some really ambitious work, Fred, and it's actually work that really needs to be done. We want to thank you for coming in today. We greatly appreciate it. It's been great to be here. Thank you, thank you. Uh, be sure to stay tuned. Uh, we have a health-filled episode for you today centered on diet and exercise for busy bodies. A uh, delicious cook cooking segment is coming up next. I'm really excited about it, but first here's Elena with one of our many health choice demos. Hi, I'm Elena from the Health Trust, and today I'm going to talk about maintaining a healthy diet even during a hectic work week. Here are some tips to make sure that you eat healthy when things get crazy. My first tip is that the freezer is your friend. Anytime you make a meal, make a couple of extra servings and pop them into the freezer for a busy night. It's also a great place to put frozen fruits and vegetables. You can take them out to cook as quick sides or throw them straight into the blender for a healthy smoothie. One of my favorite smoothies is made out of frozen strawberries, honey, and yogurt. My second tip is to always keep healthy snacks available to keep you full and prevent unhealthy temptations. Some good snack items are nuts, yogurt, veggies, or fruit. If these seem a little less flavorful than those cooler ranch Doritos, they don't have to be. Feel free to spice things up a bit. Throw some lime juice and chili powder onto fruits like mangoes. You can even put seasoning on vegetables. There's vegetable seasoning or ranch, pepper, salt, whatever you like. Put your cut up fruits and veggies into freezer bags so they're easy to grab and go. My final tip is to have some quick meals up your sleeve. One way to do this is to make a big batch of a main ingredient during the weekend and then use it in dinners throughout the week. For example, if you make a roast chicken on Sunday for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you can have chicken soup, chicken salad, chicken sandwich, whatever you want. Another way to do this is to have a few go-to meals. One of my favorites is a frittata. Some eggs, veggies, a small serving of cheese, and you have a balanced meal in under 10 minutes. Take some time right now to plan out some go-to meals and make sure to have those ingredients readily available. Remember, you don't have to eat unhealthy when things get busy. Just think, the freezer is your friend, have some healthy snacks, and have some quick meals up your sleeve. Again, I'm Elena from the Health Trust, giving you the tools to make a healthy choice. Thank you, Elena. And coming up next, we go to the kitchen with Chef Matt Mermon from Cater 2 for a great recipe. Later, Ryan Hughes will show us an easy exercise routine here at Health Trust TV. But first, here's a healthy tip from one of our community members. Hi, I'm Madison Nguyen. According to U.S. Department of Agriculture, people who eat more vegetables and fruits are likely to have a reduced risk of some chronic diseases, such as heart attacks, strokes, certain types of cancer, obesity, and type 2 diabetes. Here are some easy tips to help you get the vital nutrients that fruits and vegetables provide. Always make half your plate fruits and vegetables. Eat veggies that are rich in color, red, orange, and dark green. 
They are full of vitamins and minerals. If you're always on the go, cut up a batch of your favorite veggies ahead of time and prepackage them for when you're short on time. For more information on why and how to eat healthy, visit www.healthtrust.org. Invest in our community's voice and become a friend of Create TV. Just pledge an ongoing monthly donation to Create TV San Jose and we will do the rest. Your support allows Create TV to provide thousands of San Jose students with digital media skills, help hundreds of San Jose nonprofits tell their stories and build capacity, and air thousands of community videos. To donate, visit createtvsj.org or call 408-295-8815. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Health Trust TV. And today for our cooking segment, we're joined by Chef Matt Mermod from Catered 2. And we're gonna be kicking off the segment by going over what we'll be eating today. Hi, thanks for having me. So today we have a gluten-free pasta with lemon and shredded chicken and just a variety of different vegetables. And, oh, the uh, different vegetables, different colors, they look great. Why don't okay. I, are, those, are those different colored cauliflower? They are actually. Uh, it's uh, purple, orange, and green cauliflower. Oh. They wow. taste all exactly the same, same textures, just uh, different colors. Sounds good, uh, sounds So good. we also have some uh, garlic, red onion, and some zucchini, red and yellow pear tomatoes. And uh, we're gonna be finishing it with some uh, lemon zest and lemon juice. Okay, so this is uh, something quite easy and quick to cook, right? Absolutely. Is that what we're doing with the Absolutely, pasta? Absolutely, yeah. So I mean, the pasta is already pre-cooked, but you know, boiling water, cooking pasta, seven, eight minutes. Um, and all the vegetables are really uh, quick to quick to cook, um, depending on how you like them. I like all my you know my vegetables uh, crunchy and so. Do you and, boil uh, them or do you saute them? Uh, or how it's do you all sauteed, them? all in one 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 pot. So okay. one one pot, one pan dish. Makes so all the easy. vegetables yeah. are, are raw then. Absolutely great. Yeah, except the onions right now I, because of time. So we're just starting with some uh, chopped garlic, and I have some caramelized onion. That's already mm. been cooked. And so, and I like to start with some of the cauliflowers because they take a little bit longer to cook. Okay. Um, and then the easy way to do this too, we do at home all the time, is to use uh, rotisserie chicken. Okay. And just oh, pull okay. that. Now it's already already cooked. Ready Shortens to go. the prep time. Right? Exactly. Makes everything easier. Yeah. Okay. And so I'm gonna go with some purple. Mm, starting to smell good already. Yeah. yeah. It's so colorful. All right. So you can sub any vegetables you like, asparagus, uh, broccoli, um, you know, mushrooms if you like. So you're, you're starting with the, the vegetables that take longer to cook and then exactly. kind of work them in. Exactly. Okay. So for this demo, I did pre-blanch the cauliflower okay. because the cauliflower does take about you know seven, eight minutes. Mm -hmm. So that so those are pre-cooked a little bit. So is there a substitution that you would use for vegetarian? Um, you know, of for, the for more protein, uh, you can definitely use some garbanzo beans, oh, okay. some tofu is always okay. good if you like that. Yeah. Um, you know, even uh, throw in some some quinoa. That sounds great. Mm, you know, yeah. For a little crunch. Very little healthy. Texture. Well, I'm a meat guy, so I'm ready yeah. for the chicken. <laughs> nice. All right. I'm excited. Nice. So, any specific types of uh, marinade or anything on your chicken, or is it more just by you your know, choice this is, of taste? This is really just a the rotisserie. salt and pepper uh, crusted chicken, but you can do any kind of flavor you'd like. Okay. Um, you know, I really like to let the lemon stand out. It just brightens it all up. Um, then I'll hit this with some chicken stock. Chicken stock. Looks so healthy. And some white wine. Mmm. Mm. Okay, so this is basically the sauce for the pasta too. There's no, there's no tomato sauce. There's no cream. Very nice. Um, very healthy. Yeah. Very easy, which very is important. Easy. It's the yeah. for us guys, right? It holds <laughs> up really well too. Um, and it'll last in this state after it's been cooked. You know, a good three days. So <laughs> you can always just pop it in the microwave. 
That's good. So for someone that's on the go. Yeah, yeah I think that's really important is, is having some food prep that you makes, know, and literally makes it, it easier. It should take no more than 15 to 20 minutes. To Quick and easy. Yeah. Especially if you have a rotisserie chicken. Yeah. 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 So at the Most last, stores nowadays, are you, you can buy those pre-cooked, right? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Finish it with some tomato. And... Yeah. yeah some lemon zest. Very nice. And you don't want to go too deep with this. You want to just go with the very outer layer. Okay. And how come you don't want to go too deep? Well, if, then you get into the white pith, oh, and it okay. gets really bitter. Oh. So this is really just the oils and the essence and the flavor of the lemon. And the lemon juice. How's yeah. it smell? It's smelling great, man. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're getting anxious to try it out. Right. Right. <laughs> and I've never seen that technique that you just did with the lemon. Is that to keep the seeds in? Exactly, yeah. Great. Yeah. So, just a little bit of salt to finish. It smells great. Salt, pepper. Wow. That's pretty much it. Well, that was quick wow, and easy. that was very easy. <laughs> Yeah, my, my stuff doesn't look as pretty at home. I gotta start adding more color, I guess. Yeah, huh? yeah it, it helps. You know, you eat with your eyes. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was really one of my wife's recipes and dishes that she came up at home. And we alternate vegetables all the time, whatever, whatever's in season, whatever she can get. That's great. Um, and then we like to finish it with a little fresh one parmesan. One of my favorite parts, the cheese. All right. <laughs> You know, children will love this because it's so oh, colorful. My, my kids eat this up. Yeah. And we do. We cook this probably about once a week at home. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of times we do leave the chicken out and just eat it uh, vegetarian style. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I just need a little bit more black, black pepper. That's it. Wow. wow that I never great. knew a dish could be that easy to yeah. make. Well, that's awesome. Well, it smells great. It smells great, <laughs> it looks great, it's healthy. Um, I'm Italian, so, so I'm enjoying the pasta and the chicken. <laughs> nice. The cauliflower looks good. Um, any other special ingredients that you might add to kind of change it up? But you said you can do any type of seasonal vegetables, right? Absolutely. Um, mushrooms, eggplant, um, you know, some beets are always nice. Oh, Perfect. that would that be sounds really good. colorful. Well, Matt, thank you so much for coming in. This Absolutely. looks amazing. Thank you. Um, thank we, you we're really excited to try it once we get some silverware. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely going to dig into that. All right. Thanks again, Matt, for your cooking demo. We My really pleasure. appreciate it. And stay tuned for we have more coming up here at Health Trust TV. Hi there, and welcome. I'm Dr. Jane Barner from the Palo Alto Medical Foundation, here with the doctor's message. If you'd like to exercise, but are juggling a too busy schedule and simply can't find the time, stay tuned. There are so many benefits to regular exercise, almost too many to count. Exercise is good for your heart, blood pressure, cholesterol, bone density, mood, sleep, the list is long. To get the health benefits of exercise, we recommend a minimum of 30 to 60 minutes, four to six days per week, with a mix of aerobic exercise and strength training. The good news is that your exercise can be divided through the course of your day. For example, you can exercise for 10 minutes at a time, three times a day. The following are some tips for short high intensity workouts. Keep some basic equipment on hand. A mat, a weighted medicine ball, a set of light resistance bands, and some free weights are a good starting point. Design a mini circuit for yourself and go through it two or three times in the morning, walk for 10 minutes at lunch, and then again after dinner. If you're new to this type of exercise equipment, there are a lot of helpful videos on Pinterest and YouTube. If you have children who play sports, don't just sit in the stands, get up and walk. 
you can often watch the game just as easily while you are up and moving. Sometimes after a busy day, exercise feels like one more thing that you have to do. Once you get started though, it can be very energizing. If you're having a hard time, take small steps, such as targeting two days per week and work your way up to four days per week over time. You can do this. Again, I'm Dr. Jane Varner with The Doctor's Message. Coming up next, our fitness expert Ryan Hughes will show us an easy exercise routine here at Health Trust TV. But first, here is a healthy tip from one of our community members. Hi, I'm Ken Yeager. If your life is as busy as mine, then you know how hard it is to find time to exercise. But the truth is, it's something we all have to do. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services states that adults should do at least two hours and 30 minutes each week of aerobic physical activity that requires moderate effort. Sound hard? Not really. Let's simplify it. Just do any physical activity from walking to running, gardening, dancing, playing a sport, or bike riding twice a day for 10 minutes every day and you'll be on your way to a healthier life. For more information about staying active, visit www.healthtrust.org. Hi, my name is Ryan Hughes, and today we're going to demonstrate a great workout you can do, which is the pair of dumbbells. Uh, it's real simple, you can do this one in your home as well, and it's great because we're going to hit the upper body and the lower body, so you're going to get a full total body workout. Uh, we're going to do it at a quick tempo, so you're going to have a great cardio style workout as well. It's going to really kind of join everything together. Um, so let's start off with some upper body movements with dumbbells. We're going to do some dumbbell curls. We have some 15 pound dumbbells here. Obviously you can use whatever you're comfortable with, um, but do try to use a challenging weight that um, you can get through the entire circuit with. So we'll start off just one arm at a time with an alternating dumbbell curl, just like this. We'll go 15 to 20 reps on each arm, just like this. Get a good squeeze at the top, really focus on those biceps. And like I said, 15 to 20 reps on each arm. Moving into exercise two with our dumbbells here, we're gonna do a dumbbell shoulder press. This one's real simple. We're just gonna take the dumbbells right here uh, at your sides, and we're gonna extend straight up, just like that. So down to a 90 degree angle, just like this, and extend straight up. This is a great exercise for your shoulders. It will hit your arms again, the arms, the biceps, triceps. Extend straight up. We're gonna shoot for 15 to 20 reps on this one as well. And straight up. So we got two upper body exercises with the bicep curls and the shoulder press. And now we're gonna move into some lower body exercises. Uh, we'll start with the squat. Feet shoulder width apart, just like this. Dumbbells at your side, chin up. And we're gonna go straight down, just like this. And back up. Go down to about a 90 degree angle. And down. Back up, just like that. Focusing on keeping your knees behind your toes. And down, just like that, back up. Our fourth movement is gonna be lower body again. We're gonna stretch out into a lunge here. Come down, just like you did a squat at a 90 degree angle, and back up. Down, back up. Keeping the dumbbells at your sides, chest nice and high. Down, and back up, just like that. So those are our four exercises. Again, to recap, we started off with the bicep curls, 15 to 20 reps on each arm. The shoulder press, 15 to 20 reps. The squats, 15 to 20 reps. And lunges, 15 to 20 reps on each leg. You're gonna run that whole circuit uh, with no rest. And we're gonna go four to five rounds total. So it's gonna be a great workout. Get your breathing up. We're gonna incorporate the upper and lower body. It's a great one you can do at your home, which is a pair of simple dumbbells. 
Again, my name is Ryan Hughes with Health Trust TV, reminding you to stay healthy. Well, that's our show for today. Remember, everything you've learned and more can be found on our website at healthtrust.org. Visit the site and join us next time as we bring Silicon Valley the latest in health. Thanks for watching Health Trust TV.